You know, if you let PlayStation fanboys tell you, Xbox is doing terrible. Microsoft is on the verge of kicking Xbox out of Microsoft. That's what they would want you to believe. That's the shit that they put on social media that Xbox is doing bad. But in reality, Xbox is doing amazing. The Xbox brand is absolutely killing it. You know, an analogy that we use all of the time is just because Coke is number one doesn't mean Pepsi is a failure. Just because McDonald's is number one doesn't mean that Burger King or Wendy's is a failure. This is a huge world. There's plenty of people that has their personal preferences for food, for music, for anything, especially video games. So with all that being said, Xbox is doing great. The Xbox Series X and S is doing great for the Xbox brand. It's doing so well that Phil Spencer himself said this, at this point, so more of this generation of Xboxes, which is Xbox Series X and S, than we had any previous version of Xboxes. Any previous version of Xboxes. Now, of course, that means the original Xbox, the Xbox 360, the Xbox One, so yeah, Xbox is doing incredibly well. <clears throat> I know these PlayStation fanboys, they want us to believe that Xbox is on the verge of, of, of bankruptcy or some shit. They want us to believe that because the PlayStation 5 has sold more, the Xbox doesn't have a chance in hell. That's what they want people to believe. It's just not the case. Now we know that PlayStation 5 is sold like maybe 15 to 16 million consoles at this point, and that's amazing. Kudos to Sony. But Xbox has sold around 12 million, according to Z Huge. Z Huge said this would have put Xbox Series X and S over 12 million ship, according to our estimates. The dual skew strategy has paid off for Microsoft amid the supply chain issues, semiconductor shortage. Increased production of S allowed for more Xboxes on shelves than if they only had X. Now, people said the Xbox Series S was a mistake. See, looking at it, I said from the beginning, the Xbox Series S is going to move units. Us hardcore gamers, they made the Xbox Series X for us. The PS5, the Xbox Series X, that's for us hardcore gamers. These damn casual gamers, the kids, the kids don't give a shit about 4K, 60 frames per second. They don't care about that. They want to play Fortnite, Roblox. Roblox is one of the most popular games in the world. Have you seen the graphics on that shit? Minecraft, one of the most popular games in the world. Have you seen the graphics on that shit? See, that's what I'm saying. People just constantly do this fanboy shit, this console war shit, and don't sit back and listen. Don't sit down and pay attention to what's really going on. Xbox Series S helped Xbox sell up to 12 million Xbox Series so far this generation. It's a year and a couple of months until this generation. And Xbox is doing great. PlayStation is doing great. Nintendo is doing great. Gaming has taken off. Gaming was already growing, but something happened when we all went into quarantine when COVID first hit. People was at home, they said, shit, I might as well buy me a video game system. Xbox was killing it. PlayStation was killing it. Video games in general has been amazing. The set, everything's selling out. And that's a good thing, man. So, like I said, these PlayStation fanboys will want people to think that Xbox is doing terrible, and that's just not the case. And the PlayStation 5 is doing great. And, um, you know, guys that had the PS4, they just upgraded to the PS5. And Xbox job, what they have to do is try to lure some of those people back. Because we know there was a lot of Xbox 360 owners, Xbox 360 fans that left Xbox One and went to the PS4 last generation. I know several people personally in my real life that did that. They left the 360 and went to the PS4. So what Xbox has to do is somehow lure some of those folks back 
and and even get new folks to come and give the Xbox brand a chance. That's why I believe the strategy of the Xbox Series S was a good strategy because maybe some parents will buy their kids the Xbox Series S because of the price point, because of Xbox Game Pass, and because of the content that they have on that system. So look, I'm about to get out of here, but I really wanted to talk about how the Xbox Series X and S is at 12 million consoles shipped. And that's pretty impressive. Yes, I know, PlayStation fanboys, PlayStation is selling more. Yeah, they should be selling more at this moment. They won last generation when you compare Xbox versus PlayStation. So they're, of course, going to have millions of people just upgrade to the PS5. And that's great. But Xbox, I believe, is going to be way more competitive this generation, man. Way more competitive. There's already proof of it. And this is just the beginning. Content is going to be king. PlayStation has great content. Xbox has great upcoming content. And this is going to be fun, man. But look, I'm about to get my black ass up out of here. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you happen to stumble across my channel, you think I'm decent enough, why don't you go ahead and subscribe? And if you subscribe, please hit that notification bell to know when my black ass is doing some new content, babe. All right, everybody. Peace and love. Peace and love. Shit. Damn, man. <laughs>